video is brought to you by G2Wait.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And sponsored by FatalGrips.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off controller grips, cases, and much, much more. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome to another 2025 Career Mode video. And today, we're going to be looking at the player that has recently really started to tear apart the Premier League. It is Drendon Shakiri. That's right, Shakiri, the Swiss winger, has been absolutely tearing it apart for Stoke City recently and has scored a couple of absolutely cracking goals in recent times. The man that used to play for Bayern Munich, then played for Inter Milan, now playing for Stoke City, he's on some sort of form. You reckon with a decline like that, he's probably going to be playing somewhere shit like Stevenage in a few seasons. And there's an instant dislike from any butthurt Stevenage fans. But anyway, let's move on. These are Zrandon Shakiri stats. 80 rated, of course, as we've said before. He's a right midfielder. He has a potential of 84. And he also has some brilliant physical and mental attributes, as you can tell. He looks super well-rounded there. And both also in the technical attribute area as well, where it's ball control, dribbling, curve, of course. Shot power is not bad either. And then a couple of other shooting and passing stats, which look great. He looks like a superb winger for that overall. Now, 20. 23 years of age, 5 foot 7, can play both right mid and left mid, center attack and mid, and even a little bit more advanced at the right wing position if need be. Specialities, he has none, but the flare trait and the long shot taker trait as well. There you go. Jrenan Shakiri, that's him in FIFA 16. And in a few moments, we'll see him in 2025. So I can't wait for that. But until then, these are the first three seasons that we had with him. So that way you get to see what sort of uh, first uh, couple of seasons you'll be experiencing if you have with this man. But anyway, an 81 increase, or should I say not of 81, but 281, the increase by just the one. And again, it looks like only mental attributes that have gone up. You look at the technical, nothing. Physical, nothing. Again, happens with some players, but the first season only. Uh, still plenty, plenty of time for him to get back on track, but still the plus one overall. It's always good to see a player go up in their overall, even if it's by one or two or whatever, but you always want to see a little bit of physical and technical attribute growth. That's just the thing. And this time, this is actually going to sound hilarious. We do get technical attribute growth and we do get physical attribute uh, growth. And as well as that, we also get mental attribute growth. And even though his overall hasn't gone up, that's the sort of season that I prefer. I know that may sound crazy, but if we're actually developing overalls and he's not getting a random overall increase out of nowhere, that's what makes me happy. Sadly, it's not by too much, but at least it's something. And finally, for the third and final season before we go all the way to 2025 with Shakiri, and let's take a look at this man's rating. What is his overall now? It's still 81. He's gone into bad form as well, still with the happy morale, which is okay, but sadly, no physical, no mental, and no uh, technical attribute growth whatsoever this time around. That's a disappointing note to end on. He's only gone up by one overall unfortunately, in the first three seasons. Once again, the compulsory reminder that that is without player training, but hey, that still leaves him with plenty of time, seven seasons to be exact, to get to that overall of 84, to see if he surpasses, or unfortunately, does not make his potential. But either way, let's go all the way to 2025. So here we are, 2025, with Shakiri, a player that is growing in both confidence and popularity in the Premier League, but what will his rating be in 2025? He's 85 rated at 33 years of age, and that is just one over his potential of 84. Obviously, there may be some other players and other right midfielders out there that can get to some slightly higher overalls, but you look at the player, you look at what he's got working with him. He's got that pace, the agility, the balance is off the absolute. It's absolutely crazy. You've got some 90 or approaching 90-odd stats there. His dribbling is in the 90s. It's at the 92. Ball control, dribbling looks mad. And some of the shooting attributes that he has, some of the passing, looks absolutely tremendous. Even those defending stats, I mean, the actually looks very well rounded. I mean, around that 60 mark for a defender and a right midfielder is always handy because you need to have some sort of defensive stats or, you know, be decently defensively when you're a winger, of course, left mid, right mid or whatever. So that is actually quite handy as well. You don't see a lot of wingers with that as well. So that is another thing that I've really got going or another thing that he's got going for him. But there we have it then. It's Shakiri in 2025. Thanks for watching another one of these episodes, guys. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below your suggestions. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't be a butthead, Steven, and supporter and dislike. I'm just... A... Anyway, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one. Bye-bye.